Inktober day two, and um, with today's piece, I really wanted to focus on contrast. I was, that's something that I wanted to focus on during Inktober, and I was really frustrated with my ability to get enough contrast in yesterday's piece. It just like, uh, no matter how many washes I did, I just felt like I could not get it as dark as I wanted. I just, in those first few washes, probably wasn't going in dark enough. And so today I wanted to make up for that by concentrating more on creating contrast. And I definitely go in a little bit of the other extreme. I, I really like how it turns out, but it's like major contrast. Like it's mostly just white against black, but I, I like it. <laughs> I just think that in the future, even though I really like this piece, I would also love to be able to do something that has a lot of contrast, but also of like greater variety of values. And the prompt for today was mindless. And I had a few ideas, but I didn't love any of them. And I kept coming back to the idea of a skeleton with flowers grow growing through it. And once I started thumbnailing it, I started to like it more and I started to get excited about it. At first, I'd been planning to do a more intricate background, kind of similar to yesterday's with a forest and just more going on. But as soon as I came on the idea of having like a stark black background behind these, um, the, this white skeleton and the white uh, stems and, and leaves, I started to get a better idea of what I wanted in my head. And I was getting really excited about it. And I uh, I liked today's piece, which was good because I, I didn't love yesterday's. Like I, I liked it, but I'm much happier with this one, which is good because it's not awesome to go like first day into the challenge and be like, what the heck am I doing? So <laughs> two days was nice to have after yesterday's. Originally, I'd been planning on making the flowers white and having the stems and leaves be gray. But as I was starting to sketch, I had the idea of having the flowers be a pop of color in the piece. And I really liked that because after that, I kind of had a better idea of the the feeling I was going for in the illustration. I really liked the idea of these bright, vibrant flowers growing through a skeleton, which is cold and lifeless. Um, and so I thought it was kind of a fun juxtaposition of two kind of different things, one thing growing and one thing decomposing. Anyways, that sounds deep, but it wasn't. It just, I felt like that was a cool vibe to go for. So because the stems and the leaves and the flowers, all of that were, were so small and, and had very thin lines and were pretty delicate, I decided to outline them with a micron before I went in with ink, even though I knew they'd be completely surrounded by black and I could have just gone in with ink from the beginning, I felt like this would kind of give me a buffer and I I felt like I needed that. I felt like if I didn't give myself a buffer, then I would accidentally go over a line, I'd get too close and I'd lose half a stem or a leaf and I just wasn't super confident in my ability to handle my brush. My hands sometimes get shaky so that's why I'm outlining it before I go in just with complete black in the background. Also just as a side note, um, I recently got these Colerase um, colored pencils that I've been sketching with and I love them. I feel like they don't like uh, like muddy up a painting the way that graphite sometimes can. So thumbs up for those. <laughs> I'm definitely going to keep using them. So I thought I'd throw that in there. Um, I don't know why, just because I love them. They're my new favorite thing. Oh, so before I could actually finish painting this, my camera died and I get most of it. It's just the tail end of the inking. Well, it's like half the inking, but it's like the 
really boring, like, getting into teeny tiny crevices and just getting random little white spots inking that got missed, but, um, I got so scared for a second that everything I had recorded would be gone, and I was like, no, I don't know, I was mortified. Anyways, but it's all good. Most of it was there, and I probably would have had to cut out, like, huge chunks of the inking anyways, just because it goes on forever, and this video, even without, like, the last half of the inking, is still gonna be, like, 10 minutes long, so, um, I'm not too bothered that it's gone, but, man, this, this was a lot to commit to. As I started doing the inking, and I realized how much time it was going to take to fill in each little space and to carefully round every leaf. I kept thinking, what am I doing? What did I get myself into? Like, this is going to take forever. But it ended up being pretty therapeutic. And I don't know, probably I, I'm sure other people can relate to the way that like, if you're doing something in art that's monotonous, but it has like some satisfaction to it, it starts to just kind of, you know, you kind of go into like a meditative state. I was listening to the second Harry Potter while doing this, so it was just kind of nice. I just zoned out and listened to some HP, and um, I think it was worth it. I I think I keep saying this, but I am genuinely happy with how it turned out, and it feels so good because that's not how I felt yesterday. So yay for that. <laughs> One thing I'm really looking forward to working on this Inktober besides just working on contrast and values is increasing my uh, stamina with art. And that might sound funny because usually you talk about stamina with things that are physically exerting, but I don't know. I feel like it's hard to stay consistent when you haven't been consistent and it's hard to uh, be like creative when you haven't been stretching that creative muscle. And I don't know. I've had some health problems that have made it hard to draw and paint and just focus on art in the past. And I feel like it was kind of frustrating because I pre previously I was at a place where I felt like I was producing a lot of work and I was really happy with it and I was happy with the pace that I was um creating illustrations at and then I like my stamina just plummeted and so this year I made a goal to finish four illustrations every month even if they were super super tiny just as long as they were finished and just kind of slowly try to work my way back up to um what I'd prefer my abilities to be at and I've actually been really proud of myself I've accomplished that goal almost every month and so I felt like Inktober was the perfect time to push that even further and um I'm hoping that after doing 31 pieces I'll have more confidence but also um be in a place where it's a lot easier for me to um produce art just because I have been producing at a ridiculous pace because let's be honest Inktober is ridiculous but it's so fun so anyways that's something that I am excited for this year that's one reason why I wanted to participate so Anyways, um, uh, this is about where the, the recording of my piece ends off, um, but man, this inking was, it was, it took a lot, it took a lot out of me. <laughs> Any anyway, happy Inktober. <laughs> I made another one, <laughs> and I'm done. <laughs> No, just kidding. Um, I'm gonna keep making Inktobers every day of this month, so two down and 29 more to go, but I'm really excited. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see pictures, you can go to my Instagram, at Mackenzie underscore Benson. Thanks, bye!